All right, all right, all right. Uh, good evening, everyone. I hope we're all having a lovely day and I hope we all, um, we all have energy enough to continue in through this week. I would like to begin to air my greatest uh, apologies for the network cut that we had yesterday. So yesterday we were about to hold this webinar that we're having now, but we had a major network interruption that rendered our meeting um, at a pause and so we failed to continue but anyways um every step down is a step up and so we will continue with our webinar today and i'm excited to see that the we have great numbers both on our webinar on zoom and also our live on facebook this is amazing um so today you will have me taking you through the digital marketing module um i was introduced yesterday by mr moto but for those that uh, might possibly um, might have missed yesterday's meeting. Uh, my name is Achap Jonathan, and I have a BBA in computers and management information systems. And also, I am serving as the chief commercial officer for Motor Holdings. So I'm the one responsible for all the communications. I think much of the things were said yesterday. Uh, without wasting much of the time, I think we'll just jump into it. And those that are still joining us, and those that might join us later on will, uh, will find us on the way. So to begin with our digital marketing module, um, first of all, I think I have to understand uh, basically the technologies that are involved into this discussion. Digital marketing, what is digital marketing, what is involved into digital marketing. We'll get to discuss um, now a lot of digital marketing concepts um, from search engine optimization uh, to the use of websites and how we can leverage uh, technology to make sure that we market our business properly um, to search engine optimization uh, to pay-per-click content marketing um, sms marketing email marketing social media marketing and various um, modes of marketing we are all going to jump into those today and just get to um to analyze and see how best we can um, tackle those, right? And besides the, the four mentioned, uh, we also get to look at digital marketing as a whole, how we can measure our digital marketing um, strategies, how we can be able to um, have a good return on investment as we are doing digital marketing. As a disclaimer, I would love to say that when we are talking of digital marketing, as compared to the traditional marketing that that we might have uh, experienced in the previous years. So technology has really changed and is really growing throughout the world. So um, for us who were born those days, uh, those days we, uh, in, in which we didn't really have a lot of use of uh, technology, um, we were using tiny phones that we didn't even know what internet was. Um, the times when social media did not exist, right? And then we see into coming the issue of us having uh, the internet, us being able to connect on social media and just how the internet infrastructure itself has grown in the past years. And as a business, if we do not want to leverage the technology that is rising almost every day, it's getting sophisticated by the day. And the more behind we get as a business, the more we'll be missing out on many things or the tools that we might be able to use and leverage this technology into our businesses, right? And all businesses um, exist to be able to make a return on their investment. That means make sales and make profit. We want to leverage on uh, the tools that are existing to make sure that they reach their achievable goals. So comparing the traditional uh, marketing that we had those days and is still going on with the digital marketing. So digital marketing, as I mentioned, is basically just marketing online, using online tools to do our marketing and the online tools that, that we might use, we'll get to go through them uh, today. So comparing these two, there are many benefits that we might highlight that digital marketing has come with. Um, and some of those benefits just to highlight are that with digital marketing, we're able to reach greater audiences, right? Um, the statistics on people that are using or are on the internet every day are over billions. And so with, with, with traditional marketing, first of all, you'll be restricted to your location. You'll be restricted to the only people that you're able to access 
for you just to come up with uh, um, uh, with an advert in a paper back then, the, these are the traditional marketing that, that we used to use, the tools that we used to use, just for you to have an advert on TV. It will take a longer process just for you to set up that, uh, that marketing. You would even not be able to measure the return on your investment. So we find that digital marketing is very much also cost effective. In as much as it is reaching a greater and wider audience, it is also cost effective. It is also very much instant, right? Um, for us to get an ad to run through a magazine, it will take days just for you to come up with an ad, go to a publishing press, and then them having the magazine published and reaching the audiences also, they are quite limited. But imagine reaching a thousand and millions of people instantly. That is how amazing and beneficial digital marketing now is, right? Other benefits we might mention are that it has immediate feedback. So are able to get response from people from whatever product or service that you want to advertise or put all and for people to see, you're able to get instant um, feedback. And I think this is one of my favorite um, benefits of using digital marketing, because in as much as we have products and services, it is the feedback that we get from our customers, well, that we get from our clients, that is that makes us as a business to reshape our products and services to best benefit what our clients need. So you get instant feedback from digital marketing, and um, it's measurability also, right? You're able to measure the results that come with digital marketing. And we have a lot of tools that we'll get to mention into our discussion. Now, looking at how the internet has grown into the past years, it's so fascinating uh, to me also, because I think um, when I was a kid, we didn't really have a lot of uh, internet, a lot of um, um, visual graphics uh, going on, a lot of just interactions with the internet and the use of the technology that we have now that has made our lives simpler and easier back then would possibly even find it so hard to find a phone but now phones are everywhere and almost every individual who is even watching this right knows about the internet buys data bundles and instantly gets to communicate to people across the globe but then we even used to use email i mean uh, we used to use um, mailing services just to get a letter across Right, just to send money, we used to use um, um, we used to use services that would you send money today, and the and the other person back then uh, would uh, get to receive that money after a period of time. But now everything is done almost instant, which is pretty amazing. And the more you get left behind as a business, the more you do not leverage on this uh, on the rise um, in technology and the tools that are available out there. The more you get left behind, and 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 the less you will get to achieve the goal that you need to achieve as a business. And then the more you leverage on these digital technologies, um, the more you use them, the more you get to achieve your goals. Now, there are various tools that we will get to discover in the use of digital marketing. And one thing that I would say is that with digital marketing, the more effort that you put into it and the more creative you are, the more return you get on your investment. And with digital marketing, we have a lot of free um tools that we can use out there but another thing that we might put in mind is that to get the best results if you're working digital marketing you definitely have to spend something so let us discover uh these things as we get into our topic today i'm excited um to get into this discussion with you and i'm hoping at the end of the discussion we'll have uh, a conversation in which we'll get to ask your questions so as i go through this please um have those questions uh, in your mind, you can tap them through the comment section. For Facebook, we might not have an instant response to your, comment, uh, to your comments, but I'll get to respond to the comments that will be coming through our Zoom webinar. So let's get into it, right? And as we are getting into it, uh, I'll give an, an, an analogy of a fisherman. Now, we see how fishermen catch their fish, especially uh, those that do it traditionally, because a fisherman on a boat will get the net and then cast the net on the fish and catch as many fish as possible. This method of catching fish is opposed to the method that you get a hook and then you catch one fish at a time. This method is quite advisable and it is the same as the concept that we are going to discuss today in digital marketing. So digital marketing is, is, is using the online tools to get the feedback and to reach greater audiences 
for most purposes to get as many people as we can to respond to our services or to our adverts or products that we're trying to advertise. So introduction to a digital marketing module. So let us go through the glossary and try to define some of the terms that we will have, um, that we'll get to find in the, uh, in the topic as we go through. So social media, basically online platforms, right? I'm sure we all know what social media is. That's why we are here using all these platforms and attending this meeting. Content, content, material that we use to share and, um, uh, this is basically just material that we use to share whatever product or service that we have, right? So mostly content uses digital media, right? For purposes of informing, entertaining, and engaging with the audiences. Traffic, basically the number of people that are visiting your websites or your pages. Uh, conversions, this refers to specific actions that we expect as we are doing um, adverts, uh, so to say. We expect that when we do an advert, the person realizes or sees our products, they get to contact us, and then when they contact us, they become our actual uh, client. So this is uh, a journey from having a potential client to actually having an actual client. So if we don't have this conversion, then our digital marketing uh, uh, strategies are kind of failing. So conversion is the word that we have to keep in mind. Affiliate, affiliate is just basically using somebody, something or somebody to do something for us, right? And affiliation, we'll get to uh, expound on these words as we go. Campaign, campaign is just a coordinated plan on how we are going to achieve these objectives of advertising and whatnot. And for those who have used Facebook before, you really understand what campaigns are with regards to adverts. Uh, audiences, a group of people that, that you are trying to give the message to. Ads, ads is just a short form for adverts, basically. Uh, these are promotions or messages or, or, or the material that you're using to promote. Um, search engines, um, a search engine, these are online tools. And the most common search engine is Google, uh, even though there are others, but well, who knows the others? We all just use Google. Emails, emails, mailing using a digital platform, right? So this is um, basically just uh, emails that we, uh, mails that we send online, basically electric mails. In other words, websites, a collection of interconnected pages, right? We all know what a website is. When we go on Google, we search for um, a website. Right now we can go and search for motorholding.com. That is a website, right? And we find different pages there um, according to the needs of the, of the business. We'll discuss more about websites at the end of, the, of our discussion. Domain name. Now, I won't really talk a lot about much about this, um, but all I will just say is that a domain name is an address that is given to your website. So in our case, we have motorholdings.com. Motorholdings.com is our domain name. So it can have your name, your personal name, it can have your business name, but as long as it is an address that people get to reach to you, that is what we call a domain name. These are important things that you have to note because our engagements with uh, with you, especially the IPP candidates, we will get to um, have more interactions on how best we can leverage and use digital marketing in our businesses to reach our expected goals. <clears throat> so digital marketing channels. Um, it's just, I have mentioned uh, and defined some. These are the things that we are going to concentrate on today, right? We are going to learn about search engine optimization, or in short, CEO, how best we can use Google uh, in, in this instance, because that is the most known search engine, and that's the most optimized search engine to support our businesses, how best we can use Google um, to leverage on our marketing. We also get to learn the concept of pay-per-click adverts or, PP, or PPC advertising, right? We get to learn ab about this. We'll get to learn about social media marketing email marketing, and I'm sure for the APP candidates, you got this message about the about our webinar through email. We'll get to learn email marketing and how it's done. Content management, um, affiliate marketing, influencer marketing, and mobile marketing. Now, um, as we go through this one, we'll realize to say most of these will actually be crossing um, each other because you find that as you are doing this particular thing, you're using concepts from this other particular thing. So they're all under one umbrella, but we'll get to describe them uh, concept by concept for us to understand what is their uses and how best we can uh, use them um, to leverage on our digital marketing strategies. So benefits of, of, of implementing a digital marketing uh, strategy as we are um, is we are trying to reach our goals into our businesses, right? So first of all, as I mentioned, we are going to reach a global audience. 
right? Um, through, through the use of social media and through the interactions of websites, we find that you can easily communicate or deliver your message to people that are way across, um, way across the globe, right? To other nations within a split second. That is one of the greatest benefits of digital marketing. So you can reach a global audience, right? Uh, you have better targeting, you can, uh, you can specify the audience that you intend to communicate to, um, increase traffic and ideas, uh, uh, increase traffic and leads, right? Now a lead is a person who um, is an act of somebody getting interested into your product and service, and they get to engage with you through the provided um, digital material that you provided. So in case you have an ad and somebody clicks on the ad and they get to engage with you with the ad, those are what we call leads. So expect them to take an action when they see your ads, right? And so we have increased traffic and leads with regards to digital marketing, right? We have more engagements, we have more efficiency and effective return on our investment. Um, um, and also just overall, uh, we can complete um, larger, businesses, uh, we can compete with larger businesses while using digital marketing, right? Um, I think the only way that you can be able to sit side by side with other businesses that you haven't even met before is through the internet, right? So if the greatest business that you might think of now, um, Amazon, um, you at least close, right? Uh, you might not reach the Amazon level, but you at least close enough to compete with what those people are doing, because now you have uh, you have uh, you have an opportunity to play on the same ground field as them, and that is on the internet. So the marketing that we are playing on the ground is very important and works. But if you want to do it more cost uh, more cost effective and more efficiently and more productive, also we have to transition and use the digital tools that we have available for us. All right. So in the introduction. This is the activity that um, we will do. So for the IPP candidates, in each, in each concept that we're going to discuss, there's a list of um, activities that you have to engage in for you to get actively um, participating and for you to get to actively implement the concepts that you're going to learn today. So the first active for the first part of our digital marketing is that familiarize yourself with different digital channels and their purposes. So when you familiarize yourself with digital with other digital marketing channels and their purposes, you, ha uh, you have to write this down, right? Apart from that, you also have to identify the target audience and create a bar persona. Now I'll explain more about what a bar persona is, right? So the target for this one is for you to identify your target audience, right? Because um, as we are doing marketing, there are two main things that we have to keep in mind. There are two types of marketing. Um, one is inbound marketing and the other one is outbound marketing. So when we talk about inbound marketing, we're talking about marketing that is targeted to a specific audience which relates to, our, uh, to a specific interest, so to say. But when we talk about outbound marketing, you are reaching anyone, anyhow, but you just throw out there your ads and services for anybody to, uh, to get to reach. Right? Again, I'll, I'll go back to the analogy of fish. Right? If you want to catch a specific size of fish, you will use a specific type of net. But if you want to catch um, any fish, small, medium, or large, you will have to use a net that will capture all that. So inbound marketing is targeted marketing. And now I've gotten to realize that people are using social media to do lots of outbound marketing, which is a bad idea. And I would encourage you to go for inbound marketing. Inbound marketing, which is the use of uh, social media to address specific audiences for specific, uh, with their specific interest to deliver specific brands, uh, products, and also services, right? So your marketing should be targeted to a specific audience. If you target it to a wider audience that, that, doesn't, that doesn't even need your, um, your services, you might, be, you might not have the required return on investment on your marketing. Now, this is where we have to describe a bar persona. So just a highlight on a persona, um, we have to know the kind of people that we are engaging with, right? So we have to know their age, we have to know their interest, we have to know their, um, uh, their background, we have to know their educational levels, right? And this is the information that we can collect through, um, 
uh, through the use of some tools online. Uh, for Facebook, I can, I can say the Facebook business suit for you that haven't yet gotten to explore that. Um, so Facebook business, uh, business suit, you can find all these analytics that are listed down there just for you uh, to get to know the audience that you are uh, that you are targeting and the people, exact people that uh, that you're targeting. So a persona is 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 a uh, is an abstract image that you create of the person that you are communicating to, right? So I would say I'll give an example of a design business, right? A design business, and so I'll create a persona as um, of a mother who is trying to have branded T-shirts for their children. That can be a persona, and you can you can um, you can direct your brand and services according to that, right? And the needs of this mother who needs just branding for T-shirts for their children might be different from a corporate um, institution or entity that needs branding for their business. And so the service that you provide for these two people might be different. And so when you create a buyer persona, you create an abstract um, image of your buyer. Right and list down their demographics and these are the age, their education, and list down what their expected needs might be. And then, then when you identify this, it will be easy for you to come up with uh, um, a good product or service that you might deliver to that specific uh, audience, and then get to create some content for that. Right, we we'll get much into the nitty gritties as we go on. Okay, so number two, content marketing. I wanted to begin with this because this is the most crucial. <clears throat> The content that you create, um, we will, will have in it, it, it will, it will, uh, it will encompass the message that you are trying to deliver. So content marketing is basically just creating and distributing valuable and relevant and consistent content to attract and retain a targeted audience, right? So with content marketing, there are a lot of things that you have to put in place to make sure that you have uh, content that is on point, content that will uh, that is attractive enough and that is uh, specifically talking to that specific audience that you have identified. And, and as I mentioned, targeted, targeted inbound marketing is what we have to be practicing as we are doing marketing online, as we are doing marketing on our website, marketing on our social media platforms. We have to identify a specific audience that we are talking to, right? Um, so the types of content, um, we might have blog posts for those that have websites, video content. These are the ones that are rising with the use of TikTok and short videos. Uh, and if, as we realize to say, almost every social media platform now has a snippet where you can share short videos, right? And then this is one of the ways in which we can leverage those, right? We have YouTube, YouTube has shorts, we have, um, uh, we have reels by, uh, we have reels by Facebook and Instagram, right? We have those short, short videos and TikTok, especially TikTok. Right, uh, we have those short, short videos. So we can uh, video, uh, video content is one of the types of content. Infographs, um, picture content where we do posters of banners, articles, and many more. Right, articles are basically just write-ups on basically uh, introducing your product or writing about a story uh, or anything like that. Those, so these are lengthy uh, write-ups. <clears throat> content marketing strategies. Some of the things that we have to put in place as we are creating our content or some of the information that we have, things that we have to know as we are um, using or doing content marketing, right? So content marketing, as I, uh, as, as, as I Ella mentioned, is basically just structuring good products and service. I mean, uh, it's just structuring content that we, are, uh, that we use to communicate our products and service as a business. And also just to talk about you as a business. So the content that you create, how attractive it is, how informative it is, how simple to understand it is, the more you get for people to engage, right? <clears throat> now you realize to say you might put up a very technical and beautiful article about your business, or you might have uh, a lengthy write up about your business, right? But you see nobody is engaging with your post or nobody is, uh, uh, is commenting on your post because the way that you structured your content is not attractive enough for your business or um, or for any other person who's looking at your content online to get to engage with. So you need to make your content also very much attractive, right? So quickly getting into the terms that we have to get acquainted with as we are as you are doing content management, as you are doing content marketing rather, is copywriting. Now copywriting, this is basically just information that we create around our 
around our our products and services around our business right so <clears throat> copywriting it's not this is different from what we call a copyright a copyright is um uh, is legal rights that you have over um over intellectual property right or any other part that you want you to have legal rights for but in the context of content management uh, or content marketing copywriting refers to the um refers to the words in the in the description that we put to our products and services right so copywriting is what creates consistency in what you are trying to communicate so for again i'll give uh, a design company because i think maybe that is what i am close uh, related to um and so um copywriting you get to define what your company is about and those technologies that you use in your copywriting or in your message should be consistent across all your posts should be consistent across um <clears throat> okay uh, my phone was cracking so i just needed to ask for some water so we continue um copywriting so copywriting is basically just a set of messages that you construct that will define you as your company and your soil products and services um define your target audience and their interest just as i mentioned define your target audience you will have to create an abstract persona that you'll be working with as you are doing uh or delivering your product services and also defining your audience also you have to know the people that need your product and need your service not everybody might be interested in, in uh in what you do and the moment you realize that is the moment that you get to understand and the way that you get to um benefit and get the return on your investment because your marketing will not be as as effective as is needed to be if it is meant for a wrong um <clears throat> if it is meant for a wrong audience excuse me your marketing will not be as effective as it needs to be if it is meant for a wrong audience. Therefore, I will use a little bit of my voice because now it started cracking. Therefore, um, you have to define your target audience and their interests, right? So that you can properly shape your message and properly shape your products and services. I think that you have to determine the type of content that you are putting out there and if it aligns with the uh, um with your audience. Create high quality content. Every company should have people that are working on creating the content that is going out there because the content that you create will define you as a company and it will also communicate your credibility now if your content is not as quality uh it's not quality enough as it has to be that will also compromise on your integrity for uh, of, of your of your of your, uh, of your company in the name your company is putting out there right and then distributing your content through multiple channels and also monitor performance now every concept that we are going to go through there should be a way in which you are able to measure and uh, <clears throat> and monitor uh what you are engaging in so your content you have to have a response and feedback of your content and all the marketing tools that we have facebook uh business suit google and uh, analytics all these you will be able to get at least a measure of your code that you are creating and get feedback if it's working or not working activity for this concept is that develop a content calendar and distribution uh, and distribution strategy so uh, create a calendar that will outline the content that you are going to do so if you have if you have a, uh, if you have a facebook page create a calendar that on a monday we are posting this kind of content tuesday this kind of content just like that for every day and how you are going to distribute them if you make two twice two articles a day right like that so this is the activity into this concept produce at least three types of content yes so the types of content that you have just listed you have to at least produce three types <clears throat> and create a copyright for each content so copyrights just create a message about that particular content so this message will be consistent across our, your product and your service um email marketing email marketing i will quickly rush through this one email marketing is the use of emails to promote products and services right and so if you have really engaged with us model holdings and you have signed up on any of our forms then you have possibly received an, an email from us now email marketing uh, there are more technical um things that happen in the background but email marketing just um 
works in a way that you have to use emails for you to communicate to a greater audience. Now, using email marketing is very much beneficial because one is quite professional. Two, you can brand the, the message that you're sending, right? Example, the messages, that, uh, the emails that you see from auto holdings. Um, <clears throat> and also you'll be able to structure and segment particular audiences. So with emails, um, um, I think I'll be giving examples to what we do so that you will see the practical part of it, right? So with emails, if you have a product that you're selling or a service and then people register for that service, when we'll be sending out emails, we'll be sending out emails that fall under that interest, right? So if people need business development services, we'll be sending out products that relate to business development and you will segment emails according to that. So you easily get your target audience. Um, so um, you have to have welcome messages, you have to have a, a, a newsletter. So this is sending emails uh, continuously, sending other sales or products uh, or any news that you want to send through and also promotional emails, basically for products, right? You need to have an email list and segment your emails, right? And then you need to implement a, an email marketing plan. So you need to write to when you're sending your emails and what messages that you'll be sending. You have to have an email campaign, basically aligning with the email plan and also ways to monitor how your emails um, <clears throat> how your emails have been delivered. So if, if people have read your email, you have to know that they have read your email. That's why using these online tools that I'll possibly mention as we are going on, you can be, uh, you would be able to know if people have opened your emails and if they read your email and get that response. So every concept has to be measurable. The activities, I'll send this message through to all um, registered IP candidates. So you go through the activities and if you have any queries or questions, you get to communicate back. Right? Social media marketing. Now, this is where we we'll spend a lot of time. Social media marketing is using social media platform basically just to, um, to promote our products and services. Social media um, platforms, we have Facebook that has over 2 billion monthly users. That is quite a lot, 2 billion, right? So you have uh, you potentially have um, the opportunity to reach greater numbers. We have Instagram that you mostly use, uh, uses visual, um, is mostly visual based, right? So we need just pictures and videos for Instagram, but mostly pictures. So you can leverage your content creation with the posters and pictures and use Instagram. Now, not every um, not every platform might work for you. That's why you have to have specific platforms that you know really suit to what you do and then get to put them out there. And for, for these platforms that are going to my experience, I've gotten to realize that Instagram is mostly uh, people that get to use Instagram much are, um, are influencers and people that are more uh, are much in the design and uh, in fashion industry because there is more picture display of their products and services as compared to other businesses that have more of um, more of uh, more of article or content based um, a, a, a delivery of messages, right? So Instagram is more visual. LinkedIn is more professional, right? So even the way you advertise on LinkedIn should be a professional way of advertising. Twitter, well, it's also a, a, a social network, just as Facebook. So you find all types of people there. YouTube is video based. So if you have video content, you're creating video content, you can leverage on YouTube with at least 2 million, 2 billion monthly active users. So that's something that you can leverage. TikTok also. Now, TikTok has risen in the past years and can also be leveraged because you're secluding yourself from such social media platforms. Because I've heard other people be like, no, me, I don't use TikTok. I'm a grown up, but that is where people are. So if you're a grown up or you're a person who feels that TikTok, you as a person, you cannot use TikTok, a business might need to use TikTok. So create uh, fun and exciting adverts for TikTok, video adverts for TikTok, and then put them there because we don't know how many clients that you might get from TikTok also. And uh, pin interest is also one of the social media platform that, uh, that we can use. Things to know about social media. You have to know your platform in the content that you have to put on that platform. So all these platforms have their own purposes and their users and how you can structure your content. Not every content that's meant for Facebook can fit on LinkedIn. Actually, this is something that you really, really, really have to put into consideration. So structure your content uh, with regards to the platform that you are using, the social media network. You, we can just Google this if we need more information. It's about what um, Facebook is all about, what Instagram is all about, and see how we can structure our content 
with that social media platform activities. We'll go through these activities when I send through um, this, um, this presentation. So as I said earlier, <clears throat> marketing should be structured. You should know, first of all, your audience. And now, now we are saying you should also know the platform that you are using. Right, so um, Facebook has specific people and specific type of content that you can put on it. And when you know this, you will know how to structure your content to be able to sell your product and services on these platforms, right? And for Facebook, this is one of the most, you just have to have a Facebook account as a business. <clears throat> this is even not something that um, is debatable. You need to have, a, the first social media platform that you have to leverage is Facebook because Facebook now, is getting sophisticated by the day and it is adding more business favorable features um, um, as opposed to these other social media platforms right and i've i've had a chance to attend a number of facebook cohorts where i will get to um where meta will get to describe their new products and how you can leverage these products and services and one of them is the facebook business suit right so if you have a business you have to create a business page if you have a business page, then that means you automatically um, have access to the Facebook business suite where you get to plan for your activities, where you get to run ads, where you get to see the statistics um, on your advert, and so on and so forth. It has sophisticated features that uh, in, an, a small or medium business, even a large business, would be able to leverage to get to their specific audiences and deliver the specific message that they want to deliver. Influencer marketing. I'll now just begin running through this because uh, time is uh, not on our side. Influencer marketing. Influencer marketing is basically us getting to use um, endorsements or product mentions, right? So using another person, an influencer, a person who has greater numbers or an organization that has greater numbers to get to advertise their products and services. Now with marketing, the more you spend, the more you get to use these tools, right? So with marketing, do not, do not hold back your wallet because you definitely have to reach greater audiences. Even with Facebook, you really have limited access to many of the tools if you don't get to pay for them. Uh, the same as running adverts. When you're an advert, you pay for an advert. And when you pay for an advert, that's when you get to access and see the benefits of your marketing. And when you get the statistics, the, the statistics and the measurements, uh, and the, and the analytics that you get from Facebook, that is where you get to see and get feedback on your post and also get to restructure your products and services. If you do not get this feedback, you'll not be able to know what works and what doesn't work. And if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, you'll not get the expected different um, uh, results that you want. So we really need to pay, especially for Facebook, uh, sometimes organic content does not work until you pay for it, that's when you can reach wider audiences. So influencer marketing using other people to help us uh, promote our businesses, right? Which is a very encouraged thing. So as a, as a, as a small business, you're finding it hard to get uh, the required numbers of people there. Use other people that, are, that have the audiences, that have the numbers to help you, um, to help you promote uh, your product. So this involves sponsored posts, obviously you have to pay for them, right? Product promotion. And this incentives might include saying, okay, um, if any person, um, um, if any person gets me this number of people, you get a 10% of any deal cut. Or you might say uh, other incentives that you might implement are, are just product promotions, right? You, you can put your products on promotion. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so you can have a good um a good promotion for a product and say Valentine's special 50% discount or anything that you can afford if you are if you are if if you really want your product and service to get out there right so structure your marketing into these ways that are attractive enough for people to get to engage with right and then the way that you have to engage with social media influencers is to build a good relationship with them offer an incentive just as I've said and be able to monitor the 
be able to monitor your efforts. Always don't forget this, monitor your efforts. So you see what is working, you see how many numbers you get from your influencer, and then this will help you restructure your products and uh, services. Activity, there's also an activity there for you to identify some influencers uh, that relates to your industry. Mobile marketing, mobile marketing is basically just bringing all these concepts, but be, uh, being used on a phone. Now, if your website, your social media, um, platforms or anything that you're using online, digital platform that you're using online to do your marketing is not optimized to use a phone, then you're really missing out. Um, so I'll share this with you. The statistics that um, come from my end as somebody doing communication for, for my company is that many of the people that get to engage with us, over 80% of them, they use their mobile phones to access the services, right? And so all your services, you, you have to make sure that as you're running ads, if you are doing videos, you can do landscape videos that can feed on Facebook and YouTube, but also make sure that as you are doing your shots, because people on phones now have begun to watch more shots, more reels, those short, short 30 seconds, one minute videos than a lengthened advert. And you should also something to consider, make sure that your advert also are quite short and straight to the point and direct, but also quite attractive. So you can also create your advert in landscape mode so that those larger numbers of users we have on the internet that are using the phone, over 80% of the users that are using the phones can be able to access your services. Now imagine your content is not mobile friendly, but yet the people that are using internet more are people that are using phones, then you are cutting out on greater um, audience that you might reach. So make sure that your services are mobile responsive, mobile friendly and well optimized, right? You can also do SMS marketing and I'm sure some of you have received SMSs from, uh, from motor holdings, something that you can also do and also mobile friendly content creation. That's why I say it's creating the, the videos in, um, in portrait view so that it can be also viewed on the greatest internet users. Those are mobile users. Search engine, search engine optimization, right? This much relates to people that are using websites, but you also can, can leverage um,
All right, all right. Uh, we are back. Okay, great, great. We are back. We are back. We are back. All right, all right. Um, so we'll jump straight into it. So search engine optimization, right? So search optimization, as I said, is most favorable for those people that are using uh, websites. But this can also be implemented by people that are not using websites uh, because you can still implement the same concepts for those that are not using websites. So for those that um, submitted your comments through the comment section, because I logged out, they're out, so you can just retype them again. So that I was, I'll get to see them, we'll be closing very soon within the next 10 minutes. So those that typed in their questions, you can retype them so that I, I'll be able to, um, to see them. Okay, right, so search engine optimization. So this will be the use of keywords as we are trying to use Google. So, Search engine, as I said, the greatest search engine that we have is Google. And Google, we have to leverage Google services and Google products for us to, um, to get to be easily discovered, right? And so, <clears throat> and so we, cannot, we cannot neglect the use of Google and uh, the use of uh, the website, the use of search engines to, uh, to do our marketing. So let's just not be limited to social media, but we can also, um, we can also make sure that we are on top of Google and we and we can easily be searched on Google and, and be found, right? And so searching optimization is us uh, being able to use Google business. So let us all make sure that we search for Google business and we get to use um, we get to use Google business so that we can enter specific names and descriptions of our brand and of our products and services and our businesses also, so that um, when somebody searches, easily searches for us, they can easily find our products and also services. So we have to do what we call a key, a key word search, meaning there are searches and ways that you always have to be using in your posts. Facebook, make sure that there are ways that should not be missing. If you are a web design company, always make sure that you add web design in your location in the description of every post that you do. So in the header, you can put a header describing what you do. In the body of your description or your article or your content, you can make sure that you, you keep on mentioning the products and services consistently, right? Um, and if you have a website, consistently keep mentioning this. So when somebody searches for web design, they can easily connect back to your business and um, and get to discover you. Right now, I would give you a challenge to search for motor holdings. And definitely motor holdings will be the first thing to pop up because you have been using the name of the business each and every time that we are doing our marketing so that Google can be fed the information that there's motor holdings and this is what they do. So that when somebody easily searches for us in our location and is defined on Google. So just by searching motor holdings, you can see our website, you can see our Facebook pages, you can see our location, you can find our numbers, everything is on Google, right? So this is something that can be done by using what we call Google business. So just go on Google, serve a Google business and sign up with it. You just require you to enter your company name and enter if information that you can um, use as you are um, doing that, right? Um, Okay, these are the activities that are, that are listed for this, right? Pepe click, Pepe click, you have seen adverts that pop up on our phones. This is just a type of adverts that we can also leverage as a business for us to make sure that every money that we pay for when we're doing advertising is, is actually, we're having a return on that, um, on that money. I can see some comments. Okay, okay, great, people are getting me. All right, so it's just something that we can do for us to get the return on, on the investment, right? So pay per click, you pay for an advert and then every time somebody clicks on it, that is when you be charged. You don't just be charged for posting an advert anyhow, um, anywhere. So pay per click is a type of advert that when somebody pay, clicks on the advert, that's when you be charged for it. So that every time that you are charged, at least it's something that, um, something that you've actually paid for, right? And then website marketing, um, all right. Uh, website marketing. Website marketing is basically just now using the, uh, the website to leverage digital marketing. Now, website applies to all of the above. Website marketing applies to all of the above, right? Managing your digital marketing through a more 
controlled and measurable environment. With websites, you can easily know where a person who has visited, uh, where people that are visiting are visiting you from. You can, uh, you can easily track people that are visiting your website. You can easily make a database on your website and know your clients. You can easily structure your content on the website. It is just very much controlled. Everything that you do on the website it is controlled according to your specification, the design and everything else. That's why comparing a website to social media, social media is easy to use and will make you reach greater numbers of people, but it's limited to the people that are that are that have accounts on that particular social media platform. But with websites, um, it has no restriction. You can reach anyone, anywhere. You can easily do your marketing from there. Uh, you can easily integrate with other, um, with almost all these platforms that I have mentioned, right? Google Analytics, Google Business, um, Google Forms, and easily get your contact information, your, your client's information or audience information and know where they are contacting you from. And you can also easily measure the return on your investment when you're using a website. So a website is very much uh, beneficial. Doing marketing through a website is more controlled and can easily um, help you reach your required audiences, right? I think now we're reaching to, uh, to the end. All right, so things you have to know about websites is that ownership, yes, you have ownership on the website, you have control and also 100% customization, right? Um, how cool would it be for you to have a website named in your name? Because Facebook, we have accounts that are registered in your name, but still the domain www.facebook.com and slash your business, right? But if I have a business, maybe something like Sunrise Business, right? And then it is registered in my name, or maybe chapjorta.com. It's quite amazing just for me to say, um, when someone asks me, hey, who are you? And then, I, I, and then I just tell you, hey, Google me. It even just sounds cool, awesome, and professional just right there. Having emails that are customized to your website's name also. So if my website is jonathan.com, you can have emails such as info at jonathan.com. All those are controlled, well-defined, adding credibility to your website and also uh, just professionalism. Right. A business that's just starting up that has nothing to its name, and then they say they have a website, you'll be like, okay, this is these are people that I would love to engage with. And like busy every time your business just going to people's offices, making phone calls. When somebody says, let me see your works, you begin sending them a lengthy list of things that you have done, sending them videos, bombarding their inboxes. No. Now it's about time that we started doing things professionally and moved to leveraging modern uh, technology tools that we can use. And so a website is one, is one of uh, those tools, right? So a website is just something that is controlled and it is an online profile. So instead of you talking too much every time you meet a client, just give them your website, right? If you have a business card, give them a business card, that's the website on it. And when they visit your website, they will get to basically make the, uh, they will get to know everything about you that they have to know just through the website, right? So it's it's a very important tool that we can leverage also in um, digital uh, marketing. Okay, I think we really have come to the end. Last slide, just talking about branding and how much you can create a good picture for yourself. You are as good as you can communicate, and digital marketing is basically just creating promotional material that we are able to distribute out there for our clients to get to know, right? And so if your branding is poor. Right. I have seen I have seen some posters online that look like they were done in the ancient days. Now we have free tools that you can use to do your design and graphics, right? We have people that you can engage. We have agencies that you can engage to do your videos, to do your branding and your pictures. So do not allow your business to be mediocre. Let your branding be quality all the time because you are just as good as you can communicate. If you communicate badly, then People will perceive you badly, but if you can if you can communicate in a good way and uh, display yourself in a good way, then people also attach that uh, the way you look to what you do and attach that credibility. So make sure you don't compromise on your marketing. Make sure your marketing is on point and is professional to the core. All right. So branding, we all know what branding is: doing graphics, uh, doing good videos for uh, for a company, and all those visual. Um, All the visual um, material that we have to use to describe our businesses. So make sure that you have perfect branding, right? So think just knowing branding that you have, you have to have a unique logo. You have to have, if you're doing videos, you have to, you have to have an image that people are seeing attached to your company. Uh, if you're using voice or a tone, make sure that these are consistent 
a color that describes your brand, right? Uh, uh, a person attached to it, just as I said, consistent presence on social media. Um, you should make sure that you're different from your competitors, very much different from your competitors, right? This is what differentiates you. And um, as I've come to the end of the presentation, make sure that as you're doing your marketing, digital marketing, you're integrating with other platforms, you should have a budget for this because the money spent on digital marketing, you have to make sure that you track the return on investment and also the usefulness of a digital marketing. Make sure you track if there is a so that you can know how to restructure next time that you're doing digital marketing with your, with your promotions and make sure that your pages have a well-outlined banner, a well, a good, a nice picture. You have good description about us and all those. These are things that attract people and then continue posting good content, right? So IPP marketing strategy. So just as I've said, reaching a good audience in marketing is very, 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 very hard. We're, we're doing it for free. But we pay for it to get to reach your, uh, your, your requested or your needed audience, right? So all these engagement with digital marketing are free and we'll continue having sessions like this to give you the free information. But to practice this is something that you have to pay for. So as a Valentine's incentive and also directing to the IPP candidates only, and for those that are not part of IPP, this ends tomorrow. So as soon as Valentine's Day ends, this promo ends. And normal website that we do for a corporate is a 5,000. And um, this is for a corporate body, a big business, established business. We do a 5,000 for a website. And this comes with um, digital marketing consultancy for one month. Something you'll be engaging with me personally because I'll be the one that will be doing your website. Uh, you'll be engaging with me personally to get more advice on how you can implement, uh, I mean, advice on how you can implement a digital marketing strategy content marketing strategy, email marketing, and all these things that I've, uh, that I've listed, how you can be able to rank high on Google because we have a thousand websites running on the internet, but how you can be able to rank on the top when the person searches for your name on Google, all these come with our web design services, right? website design services. Digital consultancy with me for one month only, and then the other month, if, if need to engage with us with consultancy concerning uh, digital marketing, then you have to pay for that. This will come also with hosting and a domain name. Now, these are things that uh, that you will be renewing every year because you have to renew a domain name, the name itself that holds for your company. But um, within the package of two thousand five hundred, a Valentine's promo for those that are not part of the IPP and for the IPP candidates, this is also a promotion that you'll be able to, um, that you'll be able to ask anytime uh, along, along the program, right? So I'll, I'll create a form that I'll send to all the IPP candidates. And if you're interested to having all this implemented for you and have a website done, then you should fill in the form and send it through and we'll begin the engagements as soon as possible. In this package of a 2,500, you also have a website design done for you according to your specifications. We we'll have your products listed on your website so that people can easily come to your products and you can also add your contacts and communication on the website. And it will have your business name, just as I mentioned. It will have your custom emails. Website, having a name, jonathan.com, it will have custom emails like info at jonathan.com. That's pretty amazing and also just sounds professional. Uh, you have additional marketing. Uh, uh, um, if you come through this package, an introduction to digital marketing tools, digital marketing tools. So all the tools that you can use to implement all these parts of the of the concept that you've discussed will be given, and then support for one month. So this is in the package, and this is the end of our digital marketing um, module. There's a lot to be discussed. There are more platforms out there that we can go into and discuss one by one. Maybe in the future, when you have more time, you can discuss. Um, this platform is independently and see how best we will be able to leverage each platform uh, in particular and, and structure products and services and copywriting and messages that can fit for these particular platforms. But today, this is a wrap up and thank you for attending the webinar. Now I'll go into the questions and get to see some questions that we have. Okay, we have lost the trick. Okay, now we are back. How best do we use affiliates? Should we advertise to them or give them our products for free. So affiliate marketing, um, we are basically 
using another person with or a second using another person to deliver to deliver a message for us when we're doing affiliate marketing and so um Yes, you can imp implement it in a way that you give them product and services, but also with affiliate marketing, you can just um, you can just make people. Um, that's why we're saying digital marketing because digital marketing you're using online media to reach to the audiences. So you can have adverts, you can have posters that you give to particular people to communicate your product for at an incentive, of course, because when you have an affiliate, somebody doing something on your behalf they have to get a commission as they do the product for you. So if you sell services and let somebody find a customer for you, you can say you get 5% of the actual, um, of the actual uh, cost of that service. And that's an incentive that, uh, that you can uh, use for, um, for affiliate marketing. So we are talking about digital marketing. So you can use digital means to, uh, to engage with digital marketing. I hope I've answered that question. As candidates of this program, are we going to have motor holdings create or do our social media set up for free, right? Now, it will be hard, let me say this, it will be hard for motor holdings to create Facebook accounts for you. Actually, it's not even advisable for, for us to use our information to create a Facebook account for you. Nonetheless, we will help you do this because as practice and part of the membership program, you have to get into, uh, you have to get involved into implementing this. So we'll give you the roadmap, we'll give you the templates, but the implementation will also have to come from you. So we'll engage with you to make sure that um, you have properly done your copywriting, you have properly set up good uh, social media platforms that are attractive and that also are implementing these digital marketing concepts. And then if you want, a website, web design, these are the packages that are just highlighted that will come at a fee for those who want to go extra. But for those that have uh, uh, social media platforms already done, IPP candidates, I've, I've specified this, you can call through and we'll be able to advise on how best you can implement some of the things, right? Is you are still running this program, so that will be for free for the IPP candidates. But for everybody else just needing consultancy, it will be at a fee. And also, if you need web design, it will be at a dis that's a 50 percent discount of a 2500. And you better get this before the end of Valentine's for those that are non IPP candidates. But for IPP candidates, you can engage with us at least this week for us to begin working on, uh, on your website. Good evening, what, what's the percentage of the total budget should be allocated towards advertising? You're starting, you will really have a high uh, percentage of budgeting that should be allocated. So I cannot really say a percentage because budgets uh, differ and your priorities also might differ. But marketing should be always part of your priorities because you're also trying to send your product out there. Business without marketing is trying to set up, uh, trying to set up a business and wanting nobody to know about it. And doing business without marketing is like a boat on dry ground, not going anywhere. So allocate a significant, let's just say a significant percentage that you are able to afford to marketing, all right? Um, Google what? I don't know what she meant, but I meant of Google Analytics that you can use to, to analyze, your, uh, to measure uh, your traffic. You can also use Google Ads to make sure that you input your keywords for you to rank high on social, uh, on search engines. And also I mentioned of Google Business that you can use to register a business on Google and add a location and add a description. So when people search for you on Google, you can easily find you, right? So those are some of the Google things that I mentioned. How much do you charge for website creation? Okay, I just mentioned that. Um, sorry, I missed what you said. Are you candidates, are people candidates required to pay for two five? We cannot do websites for the 1,000 IPP candidates for free. Nonetheless, the mentorship class and, and, the, and the mentorship on digital marketing is totally for free. But for you to get yourself a website, this is something that you have to pay for, and it is yours. Some have to pay for it, it is yours, because um, uh, there are more expenses that are incurred, just as I mentioned with marketing, that you cannot do most of these things for free. So you just have to pay for them. And, the, and, and, the, and this amount has been put for 2,500 is the amount basically much for the setup of a website. It, 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 it's not even much on the uh, profit base. It's just much on the setup for the website. That's why it is much um, structured for the IPP candidates. But for those 
sort of a, an, an, an opportunity to engage, join us on Facebook today. We also have a privilege to join into this discount, but this only ends tomorrow. So make sure that you do this for those that uh, join us on Facebook because it's a Valentine special for those other but I pick on this engage us anytime this week. Is there a template for advertising for motor holding candidates? Okay, so this presentation has tasks in it. So when we fill in those tasks and then with the help up, I will engage with you to help you create a proper digital marketing strategy that you can implement. So when you fill in those tasks, you also be help, you will be helping me help you accomplish this right should should uh who should we contact i already have a facebook okay so i will send an email that will have my personal number and you're going to engage with me on this one so i'll send an email that will have numbers that you can communicate to directly to communicate things that are relating to this and also send a form that you can fill in in, in case you find the number is busy you can fill in and then we we'll get to call you and then we'll get to engage with you if you need web services and uh, if you also need further digital marketing um, services, what do we get our business, when do we get our business plan? So those who joined in yesterday, you are communicated that we were creating an information system where the business plans needed to be uploaded. So they were just uh, a bit of background still, um, uh, background work that, that was being done on the information system, but the business plans are done. And for those that uh, that that applied for CEC, those have also already been engaged. Uh, communication will be done this week because CEC has also been extended to the 20th. So communications will be done, but the plans are done as, as soon as everything is done on the management system where the business plan will be uploaded for you, you'll be sent through a password and a login so that you can log in and see your business plans because we want to have a system in which we're able to interact best with you. So this will be done this week. Definitely before the week ends, this will be done. All right. Um, okay, more questions. Greetings. My name is Derek CEO. Okay. Marketing Trading Company Limited. I joined the webinar a bit late. Will there be a recast of this module? All right. So we might have specific more discussions like this, talking about maybe specific uh, platforms that we can leverage. But this module will be sent to all the participants, especially the IPP candidates, those that are receiving broadcasts, you'll be sent this module so that you can go through it and get to understand more things. And the activities, these activities, you have to complete them. So that when we engage maybe on website design, it will be easy for us to help you um, to create all those platforms for you. I haven't received any business plan to I'm an MVP candidate. Okay, yes, I just said about the business plan. So those will be communicated this week. All right. If there are no further questions, um, it was lovely discussing with you. I didn't receive the confirmation whether my CD application was received. How do I know? All right. So you can contact your respective uh, business development associate that was assigned to you just to confirm if they are doing your CC application. But CC applications are actually being done as we speak, if not yet also done right now. Um, and the deadline has been, has been extended to the 20th, so do not panic, but you can contact your associate just to make a follow-up. It will be easier than you calling on the motor holdings customer care number. So just call that specific um, IPP candidate that was attached to you. If you don't have the numbers, use the link that was sent to you to submit the business plans. That list that had all the candidates, you'll find the numbers there. All right, uh, I think we have already passed uh, um, the time so those who would like us to engage into a more discussions and to do websites for them uh, at only a discount 50 percent discount this is a valentine discount for MPP candidates and discount also for IPD candidates of a two five i'll send a form that you have to fill in and then we can get talking about this it was lovely to have this discussion with you and looking forward to having more of this discussion so that we can leverage uh, modern technology to better reach our goals with advertising and marketing it is a goodbye from me and see you in the next sessions. We'll continue communicating.